Hello and welcome back to Gamer's Remorse. Today we're going to take a look at a game called Dungeon Doors. For this game, I am going to be the dungeon boss and Brian here is going to be the dungeon hero. His objective is to eliminate three beholders, which are 8-bit eyeballs of sorts. <laughs> and I am the dungeon boss, uh, trying to thwart Brian in his goal. So, let's, let's play. So the very first thing we do is I shuffle up these three cards, which determines which fireballs he's going to shoot. And what'd you get? Shooting three fireballs. Three fireballs. So what we have here are three fireballs. You can go ahead and place those on three of our ten dungeon doors. <laughs> Sonic, <laughs> Sonic Boom! Tiger uppercut! And wait. That was all right. Myself. You want to go ahead and flip the first door you want to go for? Let's go with this one here. Going with that one. Oh, no. he has an eye of beholder off the bat. Okay, so we take our, smell all right, so what we're gonna do is I shuffle up these doors here and then I tell Brian which one of these is which. However, I am allowed to lie to him. So that makes it interesting. I'm gonna tell you, Brian, that this one is the hit. Knowing you you would put the hit where I would least expect it. And so you would tell me where it is, knowing I wouldn't trust you. Mm -hmm. But because I know that, I should trust you. But you would know I would trust you, so I cannot trust you. And thus I know, this is the hit. <laughs> You're such a jerk. And it was the hit. So he took out his first of three beholders. Well done, sir. I'm a third of the way there. Well done. All right, flip over the next door you wanted to flip. You guys ready to see Beholder number two? I think you are. Oh, evil witch. Witch, Beholder, it's the same thing. All right, so the witch says, go ahead, make my day, bub. <laughs> is this Wolverine or is this? Yeah, it says bub, you know. It catches DH's fireball and hits DH with it. Minus one life crystal. Can I roll like a Oof. dexterity or something? Nope. Or I can't, he just hit me. <laughs> I know. He's a nice. <laughs> All right. So if you want to go over it, go ahead and flip over your third door. Dworski. It Ooh. is the rock dude. What's he do before we do this? Ha ha ha. Oh man, yes. Did you just shoot me? DH fireballs just bounce off. DH picks a random sec or secret door card. Hit. If it's a hit, DH decides which adjacent room the missile lands. If it's a misfire, DH loses one life crystal. Ooh, I don't like that. If it's a miss, nothing happens. All right. Hit or miss. Hit or miss. I'm gonna tell you that this one is the hit. And you're telling the truth. Nothing happens. I decided to go the safe route, because if I had tipped you off on either one of them, I didn't know whether you were going to pick it or choose the exact opposite. I figured you were going to try to have me do all of my logic magic again. Mm -hmm. That's what I figured, so I chose neither. Yeah, I'm messing with you. Okay, so now what we do, we believe, mind you, the rules didn't exactly specify. <laughs> we believe we reshuffle. Because in other words, it becomes a game of memory. Right. And it's not that hard to memorize nine things out there. So the Phoenix is another interesting one. Scree! <laughs> Boom! I believe he means... <laughs> if you kill it, 
it will destroy non-diagonally adjacent cards. Wow. Targeting or bashing its door will cause it to explode on DH. If DH fails to kill it, DH loses one life crystal. So what happens there is this is either potentially really good mm -hmm. for Brian or really bad. He's either going to lose a life crystal or he's going to explode both of these adjacent doors. Both of which are the final two beholders. Behold. Behold. Young Padawan. Can you turn All right. Yes, I can. I'm going to tell you that this one is the hit. You know what? You've been telling me truthlessness enough that I'm not going to trust you. It's a miss. <laughs> Note to self, never trust Sean. Boop! You lose life, Crystal. <laughs> I, I just wanna know. This one does get removed, yeah. however, so that's that's good. I, I wanna know if those are the two beholders. Let's check out that last one there. What do you get? Oh! <laughs> Which, I die, she takes it. Go up. ahead, make my day, no. bub. Catches DH's fireball and hits DH. I would've got one of them. This game, <sighs> it's so boring. <laughs> <laughs> I I opted out to play this. Like <laughs> we offered to let him play. I decided to stand in the background with a sword and hit Brian instead, which like was much more fun. Hitting Brian with a sword, coming to a game store near you. I like the premise of it. I like the idea of your dungeon crawling, you run into certain mobs that you have to defeat, you have a chance of not defeating them, but really it came down to uh, just randomly picking cards. For me, like I think what I would think of this game is a solitaire version of Munchkin. Yeah. Uh, I think it had the right spirit there, and that's what I like about it. It has, it has a good theme, it, it looks like it's going somewhere, but then it falls short because all you're doing is flipping cards and shuffling them and flipping cards and shuffling them and randomly picking cards. The really only interesting element for this game for me is the part where I get to lie to Brian. <laughs> And that as, happens on a daily basis. As the dungeon hero, you're doing, you know, five different things. As the dungeon boss, you're lying to Brian. That's what, well, let's rename this game Lying to Brian, the game. That was, that was my biggest issue, is the dungeon boss doesn't really do anything. So as Eric was saying, it's a solitaire game. And it really is. I think one could play this by himself with no additional people there to wait could for you. Could you lie to yourself? I mean, you just wouldn't look. You'd randomly draw one. It would be like you're not can, listening you to that person. You you Yeah, I mean, you can talk to yourself. I'm just gonna go through my rubric real quick. Quality of components. Uh, I did I did enjoy the artwork. It's this fun 8-bit art style. Um, cards are pretty basic cards. So I'm gonna give you one out of two for that. Um, good balance of skill to luck, no. <laughs> Sorry, I don't say that about many things, but no. There was no skill here other than lying. I'm gonna say zero, because it was entirely luck-based. Um, yeah, I don't think there was really any strategy at all, so. Uh, analysis paralysis, okay, that's, no. <laughs> it's a good point, so I'll give you a point for that. Theme, I liked, I did like the dungeon aspect, and it reminded me of old video games, almost the text-based video games, like, uh, was it Legend of the Red Dragon, you know, on the old school bulletin board systems, pre-internet. This feels like a beginning of a good game, but it just didn't get there. Uh, I did like it. I, I did like the theme. I thought it was there, um, but the mechanics didn't push that theme any further. And so I'm only going to give you one point out of two for that. Um, thrill versus competitive, no. Like, as the dungeon boss, I really don't care. I'm just kind of lying you know, about what cards are where, and... So I'm gonna give you zero for that, and was it fun? Not really, but the scale is one out, one or two, so I'm gonna give you a one for that, because it's not between zero and 10, but one and 10. So I gave you a score of four, so that's that's my review. What do you think, Brian? Um, I don't know, it was it was an interesting game. But I mean, there, there were aspects that had redeeming qualities. Um, 
for example, the visuals on a scale of zero to two, I mean, it totally fit what it was going for. Um, I mean, it looks like something right off the screen of an 8-bit dungeon crawler. Um, and so, I mean, out of zero to two, I mean, it hit its mark exactly. So I'm giving that a two uh, for the visuals. Very well done. Uh, skill luck, I'm giving that a zero. Um, I mean, there wasn't really any skill. Um, and arguably, you could say, hey, you shouldn't shuffle the cards, you should leave them there. And that's when it becomes a game of memory, at which point it's impossible for the hero to lose unless they draw poorly. Um, they should be able to figure out what's happening unless they just get screwed in the card draw. Um, which again, that would be pure luck. And so it's still right. a zero. Yeah. Um, which means a bit of pacing on zero to two. Uh, I'm gonna give it a one. And the reason I say this is, you know, there's there's no room for analysis paralysis because there's no room for thinking. Um, you know, you should have to think. It's it's too fast of a game in some degrees. Um, the mechanics are playing me. I'm not playing the mechanics. Uh, but theme and immersion, zero out of two. Um, I'm giving it a zero because I don't feel like I'm playing an 8-bit dungeon crawler. I feel like I'm flipping random cards over and hoping I draw a hit. You know, there isn't that dice rolling, there isn't that check my equipment, there isn't that, you know, I've built up this experience. Um, I don't feel like I'm crawling through a dungeon. Um, so I'm giving that a zero on the theme. Uh, mechanics, I'm giving it a point five, um, between zero and one. And that's because I like some of the mechanics, I just don't think they're executed well enough. I like the idea of, I can hit, I can miss, I can misfire but I don't think it should come down to which of the three cards do I draw. Um, so I mean, so, so mechanics, I'm gonna give it a point 0.5, and then falling between zero and two, I'm gonna give it a one, because I could have fun with this if I played it properly. And when I say I played it properly, I don't mean if I followed the rule set, I mean I decided to be crazy and have fun. Um, if I was like, I'm just gonna hit this same door every time, upper left, until I kill that upper left door. And it might help if you're not in a proper state of mind while doing this. Um, assuming you're of a legal age. But I mean, all in all, I gave it a four and a half. Um, so I liked it better than Sean, I think that's probably true. But I've also only played the hero, I haven't played the... What boss. Is it? The Dungeon boss. Dungeon yeah. boss. Yeah, DB. Um, and I think, honestly, the hero is more enjoyable than the boss, probably. What do you think, Eric? You didn't play it this time, but you played no. it previously. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I I just, yeah. I mean, when I got offered to play it, I, I, I just couldn't accept it. Yeah. Pretty much, I agree with everything they, they've been saying. Uh, I don't know exactly where I'd state. Uh, I, I think it, it essentially is just random card flipping, and... I, I really just don't like that. I like to, I mean, I, I like games where you don't really have to think a lot, but at the same time, this was just like, yeah, essentially rolling a die and seeing if you get a six. Like, and I, I just, I like the artwork. I mean, I, although I, I am getting kind of tired of all the 8-bit coming back. I mean, you see it everywhere now, um, but, at the same time, it, it, it does bring you back to, you know, the roots of essentially, uh, like, our era of video games. And I'd probably have to give it about, right around with you, like, about a four. Um, I mean, I, I, wa I wanted to like it, I really did, but it just didn't execute well for me. Okay, so that's yeah. four, four, four point five. Mm -hmm. The really only interesting element for this game for me is the part where I get to lie to Brian. <laughs> and that as, happens on a daily basis. As the dungeon hero, you're doing, you know, five different things. As the dungeon boss, you're lying to Brian. That's what, well, let's rename this game Lying to Brian, the game. <laughs> Coming to a game store near you. <laughs> So, buy it as a package deal with Hit Brian with a sword. That was that was my biggest issue, is the dungeon boss doesn't really do anything. So as Eric was saying, it's a solitaire game. And it really is. I think one could play this by himself with no additional people there to wait Could for you. Could you lie to yourself? 
I mean, you just wouldn't look. You'd randomly draw one. It would be like you're not you, listening you to that person. You pretend? You, yeah, I mean, you can talk to yourself. I talk to myself a lot. Yeah. You could probably go on chat roulette and be like, what's this card? <laughs> <laughs> Lie to me. <laughs> you don't have to say the truth. <laughs> right. What do you so, mean it's a four of clubs? 